سیشن سیونٹی ٹو سورہ فاتحہ دا قرآن سمرائز بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز السلام علیکم وی بگن ود دا نیم آف اللہ ہو از موسٹ گریشیس اینڈ مرسیفل نام دون صلی اللہ رسول کریم اینڈ ود بلیسنگز آن پرافٹ محمد پیس بی اپون ہم دا لاسٹ اینڈ فائنل پرافٹ وی آر آن سوری فاتحہ اینڈ ان دیٹ آن ورس فائیو دیٹ از اے دن سرات المستقیم شو اس پٹ اس آن دا رائٹ پات او اللہ تھرٹی ون سورہ لکمان ورس فور اللہ زین یقیم السلاتا و یوت الزکاتا و ہم بالآخرات ہم یقینون دا ونز ہو اسٹیبلش صلاح and gives zakah, and those who have firm, who are not misty, have full faith in the accountability hereafter, which is reflected by their deeds, which is reflected by their deeds. He isn't unloosed, set free on earth to do as pleases, to satisfy his animal-like instincts, urges, the way he likes, but to live for the pleasure of the Creator, the way his Allah ordered him to live, so that he succeeds and lives close to Allah forever hereafter. Such are the ones for whom Allah had made easy to become religious, sentimentally religious. Such are the ones for whom Allah has made easy to reach Him. Such are the ones for whom Allah has made easy to reach Him. 31 Surah Luqman verse 5 Ulaika Allahu Dhamme Rabbihim wa Ulaika Humul Muflehun These are the extraordinary, convincingly reformed by the Rabb, the ones who have thrived. Most unlike the skeptical, who thought, why should they tear up their home, family, and life in the present in return for a dubious hope of a better life many years down the road? They think they'd be superimposing an alien culture on an existing one. Actual improvements seem impossibly beyond reach as per them. So they find every reason to hang on to what they have, whereas their culture and lives are comprehensively, totally unethical geared to the improvement of the living conditions only, disconcerting themselves, disconcerting themselves, or disconcerting repulsive to the salvation hereafter. I repeat, so they find every reason to hang on what they have, whereas their culture and lives are comprehensively totally unethical, geared to the improvement of the living conditions only, disconcerting, repulsive to the salvation hereafter. 31 Surah Luqman verse 17 Yu baniya al-akam al-sirata wa amru bil marufi wa anha an al-munke wa asbir ala ma asaba ka inna zalika min azmi al-amur. Translation, O oh, my son, follow the straight, explicit, clear monotheism and remaining subservient, obedient to Allah, establish salah, prayers, exhort people to do, follow the good, and ask them to desist from evil, and be forbearing, persevering, in whatever befalls you, for definitely 
for definitely these are courageous deeds. 31 Surah Luqman verse 18 Vila to sair khadaka lil nas wala tamshi fil arz marhan inna allah la yuhibbu kulla mukhtal fakhur translation and remember don't exude show impudence insolence arrogance rudeness to people and don't walk on the earth proudly be organically human and humble definitely allah doesn't like the imperious proud and arrogant these are sociopathy various personality disorders the most balanced is the normal not the twisty twizzling the most balanced is the normal not the twisting twisty drizzling 31 surah lakman verse 20 alam tara inna anna allah sakhara lakum ma fi samawati ma fi al arzi wa asbagha alaykum ba nimahu zahratan wa batinatan wa min an nas man yajadulu fi allah bi ghayri ilm wala hudan wala kitabin kitab munir and why don't you obey allah as he directs and why don't you obey allah as he directs when he has harnessed circumstantialized all his creations to support assist facilitate your living almost as your fief area of control don't you see observe the way Allah has employed for you all in the skies and exists on earth and has made all his blessings holistic for you and has made all his blessings holistic for you those that are visible apparent physically palpable and the less apparent the metaphysical and yet having controlled used benefited and seen such creations manifestations of allah there are some people gruesome disgusting demons who feel snarled confused muddled up the laggard those who tag behind skeptical who re who raise eyebrows who raise eyebrows have inhibitions doubt question argue refute reject and denounce the injunctions directions orders of allah thus have no sense no comprehension and no perception nor a refulgent light enlightening guidebook nor a refulgent enlightening guidebook they are, are a victim with the, they are a victim of what their parents and their media have poured into their innocent unassuming minds of the childhood from generations to generations tied sorry fed on grub street track fed on grub street track they remain miserable pathetic novicates novices in the religious matters a paradox of technological electrical advancement and spiritual decay they are a victim i repeat they are a victim of what their parents and the media have poured in the out poured out in their innocent unassuming minds of the childhood from generation to generation fed on grub street track they remain miserable pathetic novicates novices in the religious matters a paradox of technological electrical advancement 
and spiritual decay. Victims of purposelessness, frustration, loneliness, and depression. Victims of purposelessness, frustration, loneliness, and depression. Living always in extremes as if at the point of death and ultimate failure. And when the splendor, magnificence of the word of Allah unveils, direct them, directing them to follow the ordinance of Allah, these conceptually straight-jacketed, closed people fall back to the teachings of their, their elders and the bombardments of the media. 32 Surah As-Sajda verse 2 Tanzilul kitab la rayba fihe min rabbil alameen Why are they beating their brains out? Why are they beating their brains out? Downloading of the book by Rab of all the worlds is not puzzling to the least. It's the word of Allah. How moronic, stupid that it is being denigrated, objected to, equated with other books. The scapegrace, the incorrigible rogues say it has been produced, written by the Prophet, that is Muhammad, peace be upon him. Having little knowledge of hermeneutics, science of interpretation, understanding of texts, they want Allah's book to be amended to suit their diabolical interests, Satanism. This perversity, willful, stubborn attitude is a reflection a manifestation of their inadvertent acceptance of their knowledge, belief that their scriptures, Torah and Bible, have been written, revised by people heretofore from time to time. I, I repeat, this perversity, willful, stubborn attitude is a reflection a manifestation of their inadvertent acceptance of their knowledge, belief that their scriptures, Torah and Bible have been written, revised by people heretofore from time to time. They aren't prepared to believe that Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, who the Western historians certify was not literate, who the Western historians certify was not literate, could not have possibly written such a scripture. Obviously, it has been sent down by Allah as spiritual pouring that forewarns the mankind of a dismal future for their disbelievers sinful. They could have grasped they could have grasped the fallacy of their ill-considered, least deliberated conclusion had they just pondered that a person can produce something the like of which he has seen before to give him a fair, clear idea or something which is in demand in the society. But all of a sudden, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came with a book which denounced, condemned the religion, values which they had held since centuries, generations after generations. And he stuck to preach the scripture undauntedly to the peril of his life. And he stuck to preach the, uh, preach the scripture undauntedly to the peril of his life, asking nothing in return. Had he to expound something homebrewed, 
it should have been to the taste and liking of the people that is something familiar to the environment that prevailed in the Arab land. But the injunctions of Quran were something for which he faced custodian of putting humiliation, disgrace, rebukes, repulsive misery for 13 years in Makkah, till he was forced to extricate, migrate to Medina to save his life. Never backpedaling, never backpedaling, withdrawing for a minute, he faced it all for the pleasure of Allah that the people see the truth. Jazakallah. That's all for today. Please pray for me. Ex-Brigadier Mustansar Billah.